All right, so in this video, we're just going to be um, doing the solid snake thing, the Easter egg where Nick the Nick. All right, so in this video, we're just going to be um, doing the solid snake thing, the Easter egg where you can call it Otakon and describe the enemy, I guess. So I'm just going to be Snake, and you're going to be whoever you want to be um, examined. Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna go on this island. Shadow Moses, that's what I'm saying. Oh, don't hit me. I'm not gonna hit you. I wanna hear exactly what they gotta say about me. Alright, not that one. Not that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Snake, <laughs> have you heard the saying politics makes strange bedfellows? Don't tell me that's a Chinese problem. No. It means that when the going gets tough, you might need unexpected partnerships in order to succeed. Marth was a prince whose kingdom was usurped. He didn't even have an army to fight with him. But as he battled his way forward, he found new allies to fight at his side. And in the end, he was able to reunite the war-torn land of Altea. So, he built his army from the ranks of his even when he had an army, he was always alongside his men in the thick of battle. Then he was betrayed by one of his most trusted friends. I can't even imagine how that. I can. All right. So now you know how I feel. But he's kind of the boring character. Some characters are kind of like he makes fun of them. Or something. Like Mario. Or <laughs> Luigi. Oh, Luigi, definitely. You're another gonna make fun of him. I'm gonna let's, let's just try it because I, I just wanna see if I'm it's gonna be too funny. Cause like no one knows, you know, he's the overshadowed brother. So no, call. Oh. That guy with the mustache. <laughs> You mean the king of second bananas? Hey, that's Luigi. Show him a little respect. Look at that pale skin. He's been living in his brother's shadow for too long. That's a low blow, Colonel. Ah, face it, Snake. Once a kid brother, always Crazy. a kid brother. Colonel, what's gotten into you? Lolly Zulelo. Lolly Zulelo. What's he doing? Colonel, snap out of it. Colonel! Colonel! Yeah, that's so serious. Oh yeah, yeah, watch this, watch this. Oh yeah, if, if you get my health up, like all the way up, um, you kill me while the animal talking, they're going like the snake, snake, snake! <laughs> Alright, who's next? I'm going to be... Do a barrel roll. Three, two, <laughs> one, go! Here I come. Come on. No, call the guy. Why is it working? Press down. Oh, is it like... Hold down? Why is it working so Box, what do you do? I didn't do anything. Ouch. Ouch. Really, we brought up stuff. Oh, grab the box. Grab the box. Uh, okay. I got you. I want the box. Alright, it's not working. It's not. Maybe it's with certain characters? No, I did it with Fox once. It's something with the way I'm controlling this. Uh uh, y'all couldn't see me. There we go. I double tapped it, I think. Pokemon, don't go away. That fox is fast. You're fighting Fox, eh, Snake? His full name is Fox McCloud. He's the leader of the Commando for Hire unit, Star Fox. They're mostly active in a galaxy known as the Lilac. Fox and his comrades fight an all-terrain fighter class Club. called Arwing. His skills in combat can turn the tide of any battle. You see,
seem to have a thing with boxes, don't you, sir? First box I have without this guy. I'm sick of boxes. You and foxes have a long history together. You ought to be proud. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was coming straight there. <laughs> All right. No content. Three two minutes. I'm going to be at this time. Here's why I'm going to be a boring, long, long boring. Oh yeah, this is I. He was part of an <laughs> army. He has a sword. Dang it, how you work it? Is that random? Well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The swords is gonna be tough to beat. That is I. Ike is the leader of the Grail Mercenaries. He may look too refined to be a fighter, but he has one heck of a sword arm. Prepare yourself. Yeah. Think. He's swinging at two hands. Wow. <laughs> with one hand. I don't even want to get near him. That's the Holy Blade of Ragnar. It's an extremely powerful sword. You think? But don't forget, Snake. You're on to the team yourself. To your opponents, you might just be their worst nightmare. The distance between you and your enemy is a crucial element in battle. Using that distance can give you an advantage against some enemies. Yeah, I've got the same feeling. Actually, here we're kind of cool. <laughs> I like how he's got a series. What? That drop kick right there. Oh, that drop kick? You know my information. Now I'm about to show you. Well, let, let's see how much I drop it. Uh, Say still. No, 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 no. Crap. Wow. Doesn't do a lot, but like, we in the air. It's kind of I hate his special. Actually, kind of cool. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No. Why? Go to sleep. Ziggy Dazzle. Yay! Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot that wall down and shoot that wall down. I dodged majority of them. No, I hate too much. Let's see who else can make she's a, she's a funny character. Like, character, like, you you know this is gonna get, like, John Doe. Kirby. <laughs> They're gonna be yeah. John Kirby. They're gonna be too funny. Three, two, one, I was wondering, why does he do that little thing? Why is his entrance like that? Like, oh, yeah, the suit, right? That invisible suit, yeah. 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 Come on, Snake. You do it. There you go. He has no for arms. Snake, watch out. That's that guy. Marshmallow. That's Kirby, also known as Kirby from Dream. He's from another planet. In other words, ah. Snake, what's going on? Snake? Snake! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll happen if he dies. Oh. I, don't know, I, don't, I have no clue what he's gonna say after that, but I guess that's the basic of it. His shoes, what the heck? It's like not even shoes. Try game, it's a game and watch. You already know he's about to see. He's probably not gonna get John Don. He's probably just gonna get like, he's from his old game. Wrong. Well, he did that kind of fast. Yeah. There's a guy walking around in here, and he's only got two dimensions. That's Mr. Game and Watch. He comes.
comes from a world where so everything Mr. is flat. Game Watch. Game and Watch was a series of Game and Watch. He was all in some of the emphasis on Watch, like. Game and powered by large scale integrated monochrome LCD displays. So characters kind of look like the numbers on a calculator. The guy you're looking at now, Mr. Game and Watch, was a character who appeared in these games. Fire and water. I want to see what that looks like. Look, just start fighting him, and I'm sure everything will make sense. What is that? Like, really? I have no idea. But it tosses you down. Bro. I just love tossing you down. His his special is retarded. Oh yeah, you get a it. A ginormous it. octopus. Get it. Get it. No, no, stop. No, stop. Right, everybody get it anyway. I bet. Oh, you gotta get it. Use it. Hurry up. I see you kill me. You run it. Uh, uh, what, what's going on? Turn. Go so on. ugly, like really? That's a retarded octopus. You can't, you can't kill me down here. But I can hit you. What the heck? Do that again? Really? I think you're one of those. Yeah, you're <laughs> one of those juggling balls. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> that is bad. No All right, one more. I think I got one. Let's see what he's gonna say about Wolf. They're basically the same thing. Three, two, one, go! I can't get it now. There we go. Fighter named Wolf. He's a real imaginary. He's the leader of a ragged team called Star Wolf. There's so many. Oh, that lot of Wolf. But he's a remarkable pilot, and his ship, the Wolf, is no slouch either. Ouch. What is that? <laughs> I don't know what I just used in the gut. I can see Wolf and Snake being actual like enemies. How dare you interrupt me while I'm 